Hello loves, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Miss Serenity Smith. It's Miss Serenity underscore Smith. <laughs> um, and also guys, if you're not a part of the chatterbox, you can join. Um, there is a dollar and ninety nine cents monthly um subscription fee you do have to be at least 18 years old to join the chatterbox now some of you guys may be new but the rest of you should definitely know baby memphis he is the little boy that came in and stole my little heart yes he did <laughs> so i'm gonna get memphis dressed but i'm also going to step right into the unnamed series and i am going to tell Serenity side of the story because you guys have heard from Miss Andy, you guys have heard from Nikki, but you guys have not heard from Serenity. So let me tell my side of the story and from my perspective. So just fast forward, just so you guys can know, um, I am doing a playlist. So the playlist, um, I think it just says new series right now. But you can catch up on the two episodes that have been put out, I believe, that are in there. But you, it's two or three been out. Um, but anyway, um, basically, Miss Andy is a nanny that she, well, she's, she acts as a nanny. But she's a good friend, um, someone that watched me and my sisters grow up. She likes to help out with the kids. Um, according to Nikki, she has an alcohol problem. <laughs> Um, but Miss Andy says she's just drinking apple juice, but anyway, she's very good with the kids and, um, she normally watches out and she has like a, you know, a, a good old fashioned grandmama or, um, one of the older moms just really get, get your life together with her. According to them both, Serenity keeps having all these babies and um just rather she's adopting them or actually having them just too many and then she can't handle them well now according to nikki she has fallen in love with this guy that apparently serena is giving her whole life to and is um just really have lost herself into you know this man and she is just running crazy trying to do everything she can she is she is pregnant um so she is expecting a baby by this guy allegedly <laughs> so anyway um yeah so here's my side of the story so picture it sicily 1922 i was dropping off some information and some document with some documents for a client of mine um at the uh main hospital in town and it was around lunchtime and i decided that i figured i just need to go ahead and grab something to eat and i don't know about your town but the hospitals actually have really good food and so I said, okay, I'm going to stop in here and grab me something. And so, you know, I'm in there, you know, I'm checking out, you know, people just being nosy like you would be. And, you know, I'm just being a tr traditional Lola, okay? Trying to get my, my nosy on. So I'm watching the little nurses and little whatever, little people in their little scrubs flirting back and forth, you know, on their lunch break. You know how coworkers do. And, um... I'm turning around and I bump into this guy and he's like he's a very nice looking guy um and but you know he doesn't look like um oh I'm not gonna get into the looks and everything let me just get into what happened so you know, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, embarrassed, you know, and stuff because I'm being clumsy, 
and I done like knocked his coffee and he was like, it's okay. He was like, you're fine. And then he, you know, he looked at me, he stared at me for a while. You know, I want two people just looking at each other in the eyes. And then he was like, he was like, wow, you're beautiful. And I was like, thank you. And you know, it's at this time where I put on a lot of weight and I'm feeling like I'm too voluptuous you know, too curvy, got a look, you know, the little, you know, waist hangers and all that stuff. So when he said, you're beautiful, I'm just like, it just like sound like music. Like I just heard birds chirping, you know, the whole, and so I was like, okay. So anyway, I was like, thank you. And then he was like, so you working here? And I was like, no, actually, no. I was just dropping off something for a client, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, he just small talk started. So, of course, he was like, well, I'm about to grab lunch. He was like, you you sitting by yourself? And he was like, I hate sitting by myself in here. Everybody look at me like I'm a weirdo. And so I was like, I'm used to it, you know, sitting by myself. So I, we sit down, we talk. So anyway, we just start talking and realize that we have a lot of things in common. Like, we both love reading and, you know, he loves art and, you know, it was just amazing that he, you know, actually, even though he was uh, um, a surgeon, that he really, like, appreciated art the way I did and stuff. And so, and so it was just, it was just, just, you know, me talking to him or whatever. So anyway, fast forward, of course, we exchanged numbers. We went out a couple times. And, you know, it's just one thing led to another, of course. And he's always, like, treated me like, you know, like a royal princess. And it just made me feel so good to, you know, have his company. But, you know, he is very OCD about a lot of things. And he likes stuff done a particular way. So I really wanted to impress him. Because, of course, you know... I just felt like, you know, I didn't really deserve a man of that statue. You know what I mean? Because I just thought he was just too good to be true. Like, you know, like he was better than me. I know, I know what y'all going to say. You know, you shouldn't feel like that. But that's just where my self-esteem was at that moment. You know, I've had all these babies. You know, I got fat going on. You know, I don't really have the time to really, really pamper myself like I used to when I was younger. So, it just, like I said, it just made me feel good. And he always serves me with the best compliments and make me feel so beautiful. So, I, I just, you know, I don't know why people think that I am just, like, doing too much. But I just want to be good enough for him. So, you know, I'm... Um, you know doing a lot of stuff but as time went on he just started like I think his work just got really busy and it's a lot of times he just didn't have the time oh my gosh I'm so like I hate to cover him up but I wanted to put him on some PJs but then I was gonna put him on this because I just love to see him like in onesies and stuff but I guess I'm gonna try to put him in PJs for a little bit and see how that work out because I hate covering him up but um but yeah he just like it seemed like he just got so busy with you know his work and stuff and it was like he was always working later shifts and stuff like that so we kind of you know it seemed like a lot of space came in between us and you know of course you know me feeling insecure I just felt like maybe he found something else that he was interested in or whatever but you know you know things had to happen and stuff like that so of course I was like well it is what it is and we was being careful but you know things happened and we had a little oopsie and I found out that I was um ex expecting so I took a test and it came out positive and I had to tell him and he didn't like get over the moon about it. Um, he has two grown kids, but he was like, you know, okay, so we are, 
Okay, so we are expecting. He was like, okay, you know, keep me abreast of the appointments and stuff like that. So he was being very responsible and everything, but it was like the excitement isn't there. So I don't know. I just feel like I maybe I just started getting boring. So I just need to do more. Um, you know, you, I got comfortable. I would come over to his house in my PJs with my slippers and my bonnet. And that's why when Monique came out and was talking about the bonnets and stuff, oh my God, I was in my feelings. I was like, oh my God, that's probably what it is, the bonnet. So I was like, I gotta lose that bonnet. So I'm thinking maybe I just need to dress up more and go over there. It just seemed like he just don't want to be bothered sometime. And I don't know if he's just stressed out from work because he work a lot, you know. But Nikki was like, a man just don't lose interest like that. And you're, you're carrying his baby now. He should be more, you know, in tune and attentive and stuff. But, you know, she a little wild child. I ain't thirsty for attention like that. So I just think, you know, things just, maybe we went, things moved too fast and he wasn't quite ready for, you know, the commitment part. Um, cause we didn't really establish like no long-term goals or anything. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, you know, so I don't know. Um, I'm thinking I need to keep people out of my business. I think sometimes. You know, you be putting people in your business and they be doing too much. Now, one time I did go over to his house unexpected and there was a car in the driveway. And it had the, like, the um, mist on the windows, like as if it had been there all night. I don't know who it was, but I didn't want to be rude and knock on the door. Because, you know, I wasn't, he didn't invite me over there and I didn't want to just bust up over there. And he had company. So, I just left or whatever. So, I just kind of casually mentioned it to him. And then he was just like, oh, he was like, um, yeah, he was like, um, that was um, family that came in town or something like that. So, I believe him, you know. But, of course, Nikki was like, girl, that was probably that be, uh, you know, at his house and stuff. But do y'all think that he probably seen somebody else? Like, I'm just trying to ask y'all as my friends. And then, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just going to ask one of you guys to watch the babies for me instead. Because, you know, because Nick and them, they just being just like, you know, it's really being in my business. Of course, Nick is my sister. She's going to always be around and come around. But I just think I should ask one of you guys if one of you guys would come, you know, that have free time that can watch the babies for me sometime. So I don't have to have her in my business all the time. So let me know in the comment section, like, what you think about my side of the story. And am I doing too much? Like, am I putting in too much effort for this man? Or am I just... Is this... I mean, would you be doing the same thing? And then my other question to you is, um, let me know if you want to be that friend to come babysit for me because I need somebody like probably like ASAP probably like later this week or early next week so if you would you know just just put you know you know hashtag tag I'm her in the comment section if you are that friend that's gonna you know be there and not like just you know yeah, just give me a little bit of scoop of, you know, what type of friend, you know, what type, you know, what type of friend you will be in this situation. And, you know, is you going to be supportive? Is you going to be a hater? What you going to be? What you going to be, sis? Just let me know up front because I don't want to, you know, wake up to no surprises when I have you all up in my house. Plus, I, you got to be trustworthy. I don't need no sleaze balls in my house when my boo come over and stuff like that. And then y'all be trying to get at him because he is very attractive. Anyway, that is my side of the story. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.